Can you believe we are already wrapping up this year and moving into next year? There's a few things that I do and I want to make sure you know about it. So I've created this video to give you the seven things you want to do before the end of the year. Now you won't need to do all of them. It'll depend on your business, but stay tuned. I'm going to share with you what you need to do. If we've never met before. Hi, I'm Candace Camper. I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And today we're instead of jumping into QuickBooks, I actually put together a few slides. I also have a PDF download that you can download. So you can go up above or down below to get it if you don't want to take notes, but otherwise grab a pen of paper and let's jump in. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, and this is the things you want to do before the end of the year happen, right? So we have a checklist of what to do to get ready for a tax professional, but this is what you want to do before December 31st or and or on December 31st. Okay. So the first one is you're going to want to zero out your merchants. So if you use PayPal, Venmo, any of those where you have money that's sitting outside, it's best to close it out, move the money if possible into your regular business account, zero them out so that you know exactly what money is in there so that you can what reconcile every single month. Yes, even your PayPal accounts, you want to be doing that. You can go up above or down below and I will link a video for you on how to reconcile both your business accounts and your PayPal account, but by zeroing out, make it much easier. The second thing, and this is common to forget till the beginning of the new year and you're driving your car and you're like, oh, I totally forgot to write down my business mileage for the year. So I want to make sure you don't forget to do this. Put it on your little, like in your phone, on your calendar, on the last day of the month of the year, you want to make sure you write down your mileage if you're writing off mileage every year for all your vehicles. The next thing is at the end of the year, you want to do an inventory count. Where does everything sit? Now inside of QuickBooks, if you track inventory in QuickBooks, you actually print out your different products and services and do an inventory or an evaluation. You want to count them for your tax professionals. So you have it at the end of the year for taxes, but also to see how accurate is your QuickBooks inventory count. All right. And the fourth thing, um, some of you may still have SBA loans or loans that you had for your business that you are paying on. You want to go in and you want to get what is your total year to date interest paid. Okay. They don't send you, SBA does not send you a report at the end of the year. So you actually log in with the username and password and look and see what it is. What is your total year to date interest? Okay. Remember interest expense if paid on a business loan, the interest is a business expense. So you want to make sure you get that amount of money. And a lot of this stuff you're, you need to do like right at the end of the year. So that's why I'm putting this together so you don't forget. Okay. Then the next thing, the fifth thing is you want to process any final payroll that you want in the end of year for 2023. But what you want to do is before you process your first payroll, if you're a California employer specifically, you want to go in and update your state unemployment rate and your employer training tax. I actually just literally got mine from EDD in the mail and I opened it up and I was like, perfect, perfect timing. I'm creating this video for you. But every employer, especially in California, has different rates. And you want to go in and update it. And you want to do it before the first payroll because especially for online, going in and changing it, you actually have to contact them. Okay. So put this on your to-do list. If you need a video on how to update, whether you are on QuickBooks Online or desktop, I will link the videos up above and down below. Also look for the video in the description to get the full length. If you need to go in and you're not sure how to update it. Okay. It's very easy, but you want to do it before you process payroll. If you're in another state and you have any of these types of things, let this trigger you to make sure that you do it. Another change that's coming to the state of California is sick pay. Did you know that? Let me know if you need a video on it. They are changing sick pay from 24 hours to 40 hours for the 2024 year. Okay. All right. So the next thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is if you want to, you have any estimated taxes that you need to pay before the end of the year, make sure you get those taken care of. And then you also want to go in and review any outstanding or old checks and reissue them. It's best to do it before the end of the year. So what does this mean? If you look at your reconciliation, if you reconcile every month and you have some old checks sitting in there from the current year and you know somebody just hasn't cleared them, reach out and see if you need to reissue the check so that it keeps your QuickBooks as clean as possible. So 
those are the seven things to make sure you do before the end of the year. Now there is an entire checklist that I have for like the nine steps for closing out your books. This is where we're actually going to checking accounts payable, accounts receivable, not what we talked about today, a totally different checklist. And for those of you who choose to attend, I'm doing a live customizing QuickBooks workshop in January. If you save your seat, I will send you this PDF as a gift. All you need to do is go to kinescamper.com forward slash workshop and choose the time and day that you'd like to attend. I can't wait to see you there. And I'll send this little PDF to you complimentary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what was your biggest aha. And if you'd like to get these tips and tricks sent to you straight in your email, you can go up above or down below. We send out our weekly tips and any workshops, newsletter updates that you need to know about. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos here on YouTube and give us a thumbs up. I so appreciate it. Have an amazing day. I can't wait to see you on our customizing QuickBooks workshop. Don't forget to save your seat. You can go to canvascamper.com forward slash workshop. All right, I'll see you inside our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Make sure you get all these done before the end of the year and let me know what was your biggest aha. Toodaloo.